Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your PlayStation 5 controller on your PlayStation 5. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So thankfully, Sony has updated this since the last method. Before, we had to do a lot more manual labor involved to actually update our controller, and now it's a lot more logical. So what you're going to be doing is opening up your dashboard. We're going to be clicking up. We're going to be going to the right three times until we get to our settings option up here on the top right. We're going to be clicking X to open this up. And here we're going to be brought to our settings for our PlayStation 5. Once this opens up, we're going to be scrolling down until we see the accessories option that shows up right here. Once we're here, we're going to be clicking the X button again to open this up. And here we're going to be brought to our accessory settings. From this point, we're going to be staying on this left menu bar right here. We're going to be scrolling down until we see controllers. And here we should be able to get some more information and options for our controllers. Now, the way this will work is whatever controller you navigated to your settings with will most likely show up here. So you can feel free to select and update whatever controller you have connected. At the moment, I only have one controller connected, so that's what will show up here. From this point, all you need to do is scroll down to the wireless controller device software. And here on the right, it will show you the current software version. So at the moment, I'm on 0282, and this is currently up to date. However, if there is an update available, it will say update available on the bottom right of this box. From that point, all you need to do is click X to come in here. It will then say an update is available. And from that point, you will then need to connect your controller up with a wired cable. So your controller does need to be wired before you can actually do an update and preferably the original USB-C cable that came in the box. This will give the least amount of issues and guarantee that your cable supports data. Other cables will work as long as they support data. So a Type-C cable with data capability should be fine. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to manually update your PlayStation 5 controller on your PlayStation 5. I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the members who help supporting the channel. Bo Franks and Sean Daly, thank you guys so much. If you'd like to have your name shout out in a future video or get some extra perks, be sure to click the join button underneath any video on the channel and join the channel. I'd really appreciate it and it'll help me keep making videos in the future. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, be sure to drop a super thanks in this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.